Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we took on the Hilo Rao Shrine, and in this episode, we're finally going to be heading through past Dueling Peaks to seek out Impa. Uh, so we're going to be going through here and then seeking out Impa over here. And I think there's a horse stable around here, so we'll actually be stopping there for this episode and taking care of that shrine. But let's not waste any time and get to it! Alright, so, let's get into the day of my day. So, one thing I'm pretty happy about is, um... Well, actually, no, there's something I want to point out real quickly. It's really cool, I never noticed it. So, look. Z Zelda, no. Link has only one arrow in his quiver right there. And that's because I only have one arrow left. That's such a wonderful attention to detail. Like, he only literally has one arrow left. That's really cool. But, um, anyway. So, one thing I'm pretty happy about is... So, I've been trying to, um, 100% um, Super Mario Odyssey, so getting every, um, so getting every, uh, unique power moon. So there's 880 unique power moons, and to get the, like, final celebration, you have to get 999, so you have to, like, buy the rest of them. So, today, I finally got all 999, all 880 unique power moons, and then all 999 moons as well. So I'm really happy about that. And then, um... Oh no, those are Lizalfos, I think. Um, anyway. Uh, so I'm happy about that. And I also got all the purple coins in the game as well. So I'm also really happy about that. There we go. Traveler's bow. Interesting. Well, I might as well drop this bow because I'm I'm near. It's nearly broken anyway. Uh, okay, drop you. There we go. Well, anyway, so yeah, so I'm pretty happy about um how that ended up turning out for me. Oh, oops. Nope. Oh, well, anyway, um, so I'm really happy about ha having that happen because um, well, I never I've never been able to um get all of them before just because um. I just never felt like it for several reasons. Like, um, for example, I never wanted to um, do the jump roping mini game that's in Metro City because oh my gosh, that one is such an annoying mini game in my opinion. Kind of ridiculous. Like, because like if you if you don't know, oop. Oh, okay. Staminoka Bass. Interesting. But anyway, for those of you who don't know, you have to get the Power Moon. You have to do once. You have to um. There we go. Once you have to do the um, jump rope mini game, and you have to get it 30 times in a row without like you know messing up. But to get the second power move, you have to do jump rope a hundred times in a row, and oh my gosh, is that like not fun at all? Um, I figured out how to do it, but like it's not fun at all to do. Um, another one is the volleyball mini game that's in the Seaside Kingdom, and that was even more ridiculous. So like, what you have to do for that moon is um. For the first one, you have to just do it um, 15 times, which, you know, that's not bad at all. But then the second one, you have to do that another 100 times, which is also ridiculous. Like, my god, that's such a ridiculous um, stipulation. Oh, by the way, when you climb on ladders, you don't consume stamina. So keep that in mind if you actually spine a ladder. But anyway, but eventually I did figure out how to do the two of them. So for the jump rope thing, to get 100... What I do is, I use a scooter, because the scooter has a bit more of a controlled jump to it. And, uh, so yeah, so that's what I do for that one. And for... Oh, can I push this? Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, that was close. Ah, apple and arrow. Oh yeah, so you see he has two arrows now. That's really cool. I never noticed that when I played this game for so many hours beforehand. It's really cool. Anyway... Um, so yeah, so, they're, they're really ridiculous challenges, but, um, yeah. So yeah, for the, one of them, I use a scooter to do the jump rope. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I use a jump, I use a scooter to do the jump rope, which just sounds kind of weird, but, like, that actually helps a lot. But, um, so I did that, and then with the volleyball game, what I did was, um... What did I do? Oh yeah, I used two-player mode, actually. Let's see, what have you got? I actually used two-player mode because, um... In two-player mode for Super Mario Odyssey, you control Cappy. The second player controls Cappy. And so, um... 
Yeah, so like, and it's a lot easier to control Cappy than Mario because Cappy moves like instantaneously, basically. Um, we'll talk to them in a second. Cappy moves basically instantaneously. There's no like running start that like Mario does. So yeah. Uh, let's talk to these two so we can get their side quests. Unless they have like the same one. I've got the scoop on Misko's treasure, and it's great. Listen up, Doc. Preston, oh. hang on. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? We're treasure hunters on the trail of our latest score, the treasure of the great band of Misko. It's as good as ours. I don't know why I make him sound like pirates, but anyway. Prison, you're going to give it all away. Ah. Sorry, Doc. I got carried away. Domi Doc? Wow, that's a weird name. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. Uh, oh. You again. Pay no mind to my little bro's chatter from before. He's got a pinch him for running his mouth with crazy talk. So, Misko's treasure? Ah, shoot. Well, can't say I didn't try to throw him off. Oh. Hey, Doc, why don't we just tell him? Maybe he'll leave us alone if we do. I mean, if we can't figure out this riddle, there's no way someone like him will be able to. Uh, That's a good point. We're after nothing less than the treasure of Misko, the great bandit. Finding it would mean incredible riches. I'm not about to give this information away for free. I am no fool. Uh, That's the keen sense of the strongest treasure hunter at work. No gold left behind, not by dummy Dak. You're great, Dak. Man, he has such an angry look on his face. Hmm. No. The fewer people after it, the better. And we still got the scoop. Uh, I guess we could do it. I actually don't remember this side quest, but, um... I mean, I guess the side quest is on the up and up, so we'll do it. So let me sell something to Beetle. Oh. Um... Let's see. No. Let me see. How many gems do I have? I got some amber and some opals that I could part with. Oh, actually, opals are worth 60, huh? Hmm. Wait, you can't sell weapons to him? Huh, I forgot about that. Um, let me see here. I could get rid of my food, which I wouldn't be too hard over. Now, nah, I'll just sell an opal. Okay, there we go. Um, well, anyway, so yeah, so I'm happy about getting all those purple coins and all those moons in Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to doing something with that uh, later. You again. Pain oh, no worries. Uh, so let's see. Hold on. Uh, We're gonna just go over this text again. Okay. Uh, riddle. Uh, let's go point. Treasure. Which is free. Uh, like, look at this. Look at Dummy Doc's face. He looks so angry. Oh. Uh, okay. Truth is, it'd be a steal for a thousand, what do you say? Deal. Heh. <laughs> Good deal. Ah. Way to go, Doc. You did it. The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above the river's source. River's source. Uh, Misko hid the tr location of the treasure in some kind of secret, strange, strange secret code. I heard this from a former dog walker of one of Misko's underlings' descendants' neighbors. I saw the lead as any. Just knowing someone with good intel like that. Exactly what I expect from you, Doc. Okay, so they said something about, like, across... Across the... No, let me just look at this. Hold on. Adventure log. Okay. So, the riddle is the tw little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above the river's source. So, I'm... Uh, I believe they're referring to this bridge here, actually. I think it's, like, called... What is it called? Yeah, Big Twin Bridge. Or no, they said Little Steps. So maybe there's like a smaller bridge. Oh, maybe at this bridge, actually. Hold on, let, I'm gonna take care of this. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get Roxas so I can move a bit faster. Okay, well, anyway. Um, besides that, another thing that I've been doing today... Oh, actually, no. Well, kind of today, so... I've been on Facebook, and so... Um... Hi. So I've been on Facebook, and I noticed how apparently, um, my university mm -hmm. had its gala, uh, gala, which I'm guessing is kind of like the equivalent of, like, senior prom for high school. 
And so I just found out about it. I found out it was apparently like last night or something. But like, I'm very glad that I didn't even know about it. So that way I didn't have to go at all. Because like, oh my gosh. I remember when I was in high school, I had to go, my mom made me go to my senior prom. And I hated it because like, I had no friends in high school. And like, you know, obviously no one was gonna ask me out or anything. So like, I had to go and I basically went by myself, which was terrible pretty much. I hated it. But um, so yeah, so I'm glad I didn't have to go. Okay, here we go, Little Twin Bridge. So the treasure must be at the source of this river. So somewhere like up here probably. So I guess we could take care of that before the shrine. So, oh, uh, why is this horse so unruly? I mean, I know he's going fast, but still. You know, forget you. I'm leaving you, okay? You're annoying me. Okay, so let's keep on going. But anyway, um... So yeah, so I'm glad I didn't have to go to this thing or whatever. Because I, I mean, like I said, no one's going to ask me out even in college either, you know. I ain't exactly looker of the week, if you know what I mean. But anyway, so I'm glad I missed that. Like, oh my gosh, prom was so horrible as when I was in high school. Like, I hated it so much, like... My mom said she wanted me to get the experience, which, I mean, I see where she's coming from, but it's kind of like, it's, that's like so not me doing that, though. It's like, there's a point where it's like, I wouldn't say she was like projecting on me, because I'm pretty sure she went to her own prom, but it's like, gosh, you're really trying to like superimpose your feelings on me, it felt like. I mean, obviously I never told her that, but like, I just hated it so much. So yeah, so that, I guess, happened. I mean, honestly, I'm really not going to do anything that's, like, senior-related for, um, my college. Because, like, I just don't care about it at all. I mean, like, I... I mean, I won't say I dislike everyone in my high school. Or, my, in my high school. No, actually, no, I did dislike pretty much everyone in my high school. No offense. Watch, I don't care, but still. Um, no, but, um... What I did just... I don't... I... I don't dislike as many people in my college, is what I'm trying to say. So, like, it'd be kind of interesting doing some stuff with them, but at the same time, I'm also not going to cry, really. Yeah, yeah you found me! Bye bye Uh, bro. Anyway. So, yeah, I guess it's kind of like my two cents about, um, dances and all that. Kids, make sure your parents don't make you go. And parents, I'm sorry for saying this, but, you know, sometimes the kids don't want to go. They just really don't want to go. It's like, don't always, you know, it's good to have kids try stuff, but it's like, don't put them in a position where, like, it's pretty blatantly obvious that, like, they probably wouldn't like it. Because, like, it's, it's really, even in high school, it was no secret that, like, I'm not a social person and, like, that's not my kind of gig. So it's like, it's not even, like, trying to make me... It's not, it's not even a situation of, like, having me try something that I may like. It's just a situation where it's, like, y you'd be, like, pretty hard-pressed to have me actually like something like that. So, just saying. But, yeah, I guess those are my kind of, like, two cents on parenting, even though I'm not a parent or any anywhere even close to it. I don't even have a mate yet. Um, though I look forward to that day when I finally... When someone finally accepts my mating dance. And let's back up. Okay, let's get that treasure, shall we? Oh, there's a lot of treasure, actually. Let's see. Ooh, looks like we're gonna get pa paid dividends, actually. Sapphire, amber, and a spear, interesting. Opal, oh, there we go, I got my opal back, basically. And toast, wait, there are cooked truffles in here? That's weird. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm full on weapons, so let me just drop something. Uh, let's see. Uh, this thing's almost broken. Soldier Spear. Nice. Okay, uh, what's over here? So yeah, so that's another thing. Um, another thing that I've been doing is, so as I think I've said, like, a long time ago when I was originally doing these, um, Breath of the Wild parts was... Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, I was studying for the GMAT, so I eventually took it, and it kind of happened, but I want to take the GRE now, 
um, for several reasons. One reason is because Jerry is more widely accepted than the GMAT. GMAT's, like, very specific for business schools. Ooh. The GMAT's very specific for business schools, whereas the G, um, the G, um, Matt, or GRE, rather. GMAT's for business schools. GRE is very general for, like, graduate schools all around. Though, a lot of graduate schools have been starting to move away from, um, using the GRE as, um, a graduate test, because, um, the GRE really doesn't test much that's useful. Like, basically, um, the, it's like, just because you're smart doesn't mean you'd be a good grad student, because a part of being a grad student is the social element of it. Uh... A part of being a graduate student is the social element of it. And, you know, if you're not good at being... And, you know, you can be smart, but you can also be, like... Uh... Please hurry. Yaha! You found me! Oh, actually, we got four, which can be significant for something. But anyway, um... So, yeah, so... Just because you're smart really doesn't speak as all to how you could be in a social environment. So... I feel that's why they've been dropping it, really, because, you know, it doesn't really speak too well to them. Which I wish business schools had been doing, but at the same time, I'm not... Um, okay, so I'm actually very smart, like, I go to an Ivy League school, which I... Okay, that's kind of arrogant to say, but I hope you get what I mean, basically. So I go to, like, an Ivy League school, but, um, a lot of terrible things happen to me while I've been here at school, like... In my spring semester, my freshman year, my grandmother passed away, so, like, that's one terrible thing. In my, uh, sophomore year of my, yeah, spring semester of my sophomore year, um, I had to leave my job, leave the job I was originally doing because, um, I felt that my, um, superiors were being ableist against me. Um, for those of you who don't know, ableism is basically racism against people with disabilities, so I felt like I was being a victim of that. So I had to quit that, and, um, so that was that spring semester. Um, gosh, other stuff happened, but I can't remember them off the top of my head, just because, like, so much terrible stuff has happened to me. Just, you know, for various reasons, like, just related because of the fact that I'm, like, disabled and all that. Um, okay, I think for this shrine, you actually have to come from a higher position, because I think those spikes right there will prevent you from moving. So let's jump off Roxas. You know, I just love that I named my horse Roxas. But anyway, um, but I guess, yeah, so a lot of terrible things have happened. Oh, man, it's raining, actually. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, when it rains, it's a lot harder to climb because you're constantly sliding down. There actually is, like, a mod that, um, there actually is a mod, um, that gets rid of rain in the game because it, it kind of is a bit overly annoying. I mean, it's not too bad in my opinion, but I can see why people will want that modded out anyway. But anyway, I was talking about the GRE. Um, so... What I've been doing right now for the GRE is actually, um, studying, um, the vocab section specifically. Because, um, that's one big component, but my gosh. I know that's kind of like the point, but like... They bring up some of the most weirdest words- Oh, whoa, it's trying. Um... Well, hold on. Okay, yeah, so, ladders aren't affected by the rain, but anyway, it's just kind of like, they bring out some of the oddest work. Did they just throw a boulder at me? Oh my god. Um, they just bring up some of the oddest words ever, like, it really just shows how bad the English language is, which I feel is kind of backwards of, like, how they wanted to do things, but still. It's like, you're just kind of proving why, sh why we shouldn't be focusing on vocab words for the GRE, because the English language is that bad of a language. It's like, for those of you who don't know, English is basically, like, a, hog a hodgepodge of, like, so many different languages. It's like, well, not so many, but it's like, it's part French, part German, and part, um, Scandinavian, or, um, some, something from that region, anyway. Oh my god. Uh, let me see. Is the rain not affecting me over here? Okay, good. But yes, but like, English is basically a mess of like, a bunch of different languages that already exist. So that kind of doesn't lend itself too well to it. Okay, yeah, here we go. The hog dot 
Daha Daha Marshall. So it really. So that's why I don't like that the jury has this vocab section because it's just kind of proving why we shouldn't really study it as much. Because it's that much of a mess of a language. So, yeah. But I've been studying it, you know, I gotta do it, I guess. But, um, so yeah, that hasn't been too much fun. But one thing that's nice is for the GMAT, for its quantitative section, you can't use a calculator. But for the GRE quantitative section, or like its equivalent, you um, can use a calculator. Which is a lot better. I mean, I can do some good math without a calculator. Like, you know, I'm comp you know, I'm a very competent person when it comes to math and science. Those are actually, like, my main focuses in life. But, like, there's times where it's like, okay, you're kind of, like, just really trying to, like, grasp at straws here. Like, there's some better ways of testing me than, like, putting such a horrible handicap on me like that. But anyway, one nice thing is that with Cryonis, you can make these come out of the side if you're facing a waterfall, which is really cool, actually. So we're gonna climb up here, and as you saw, there was a chest up there, so we're gonna kind of, like, make some steps for us. And let's see, we're gonna need to make some more steps. And uh, just be careful, because like I said before, you can only have, um three out at once. When you put out a third one, the whatever was the first one of those three is going to break automatically. So let's open you up, and please be treasure. Oh, 50 rupees. Nice. Okay. Um, there we go. Let's just go in. Okay. Wait, what is this shrine? Actually, I don't remember it too well. Um, let's see. So we need to get a ball into there. I can tell that. And then that's gonna open up that door, and then we finish it. Okay. So, I guess first we should head up here. You know, at some point I should really put clothes on. You know? Okay, that's kind of weird to be saying that out loud, because, like, you know, I'm in a dorm, so, like, people can hear me. But I sure hope they don't hear me and take that out of context, but, uh, anyway. Okay. So, um... There's a ball that's constantly rolling down. So we need... Oh, here we go. It's a waterfall, actually. I just realized that. So we're going to need to use it to rebound that ball. And we're going to need another one to prevent it from falling down like that. There we go. And there we go. And we may need one more... Yep, yeah, we're going to need one more to help the ball get over that gap. Boom. 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 And there we go. That wasn't too bad. I like that one. But yeah, so that's another sh I completely forgot his name, actually. Er. Is it ever clear what their genders are? I mean, because I don't know the Sheikah language, so I can't tell, you know, what names are male and what names are female, really. And I believe with this, this will be our fourth spirit orb? Let's see here. There we go. Okay, so... Actually, no, I should probably save the explanation. Well, no, if you're following along with me, I guess I should explain it now. So... As you remembered when we were on the Great Plateau, after we got the Four Spiriters, you went to the statue of Goddess Hylia in the Temple of Time, and then we got, like, a new Stanima extension. And so, that's what you want to do. Every time you get Four Spirit Orbs, you should go to... Okay, so there's actually more than just the one Goddess of Hylia statue in the world. Um, so you don't have to always be going back to that one um, in Great Plateau, but we haven't encountered another one. So, we will have to go back to Great... Oh, there's a pinball up there. Um, there's that, that, that means there's another Korok up there, but we can't do it while it's raining. But, um... Actually, oh, before we end things off, I do want to talk to those two to see what they say about... Say about me saying that I have a treasure. Oh! Rub it into their faces, basically. Uh -huh. Let's see, it says that. Almost there. Just a little bit more, and I'll have the whole thing worked out. Oh! Get out of here, man. That's amazing. You've almost got it figured out. I already solved it. 
<laughs> You're lying. <laughs> yeah, definitely lying. There's just no way a rookie like you could solve the puzzle before Doc. Not a chance. Look at his face so agape like that. Tell this guy to beat it, Doc. Quiet, Princeton. I'm trying to think. Ugh, I need uh, just a bit more time to solve this. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's kind of like the conclusion to that weird little arc right there, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so in this episode, we took on the, uh... Ha Dahamar Shrine. In the next episode, we're going to be going to that shrine that I put a red marker over there for. And... So, yeah. And then hopefully, very soon, we'll be able to keep on going to meet up with Impa. But I'll see you guys then. <laughs>